guys, Martha K here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, so today I am going to be answering some of your questions. So a few days ago, I posted on my Instagram stories asking you guys to ask me some questions to get to know me a little bit better because I don't think there's so much information about me and so you guys are just assuming. So today I'm going to answer and you are going to listen. <laughs> if you don't hear your answer, your question being answered, just that means you're not following me. So go follow me, Martha K U G on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. Yeah. So before you get started, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, just support your girl. So let's get this started. Let's get right into it. I don't know if I'm going to answer everything because the questions are so many, my God. But <laughs> let's start. Let's see where we, where we go. Um, so the first question, what are your full names? So my full name, is it names or name? My full name is Martha Kemigisha Kajimba. Kajimba is my father's name. Kemigisha is my name. So yeah. Those are my names. But K, where did K come from? Um, I used to just say my name is Martha K for for Kemcha or Kajimba. So, so I'm MKK. So I used to say my name is Martha K and then I would say it with an accent and then just like that it became a thing. Um, where am I from? I'm from Uganda. I am from where in Uganda from the West. I think that's enough for now. Uh, where was I born? I was born in Nairobi. At the time, my, my mom went, I don't know, I don't know if she was living there or she just decided to deliver, but that's what's on my birth certificate. I need to ask her after this. Where did I go for high school? So uh, someone else asked me where I went for campus, where I went for primary, so I'm just going to put that all in one. So I first went to Little Angels Nursery School for I think three years or four years. How long do we spend in nursery? Yeah, I think three years. Baby class, middle class, top class. That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> then I went to Kaboja Junior School. Actually, I was one of the first entrants in that school because I joined in 2000. And in 2000 was when I think they started. So I was in pre-primary in 2000. So I was there all the way until P7. Then from there, I went to Namagunga, Mount St. Mary's College, Namagunga. I had to cut off Shaolin, eh? cut off my hair to Shaolin, yeah. Um, so I was in Namagunga for four years, S1 to S4. And then I went to Kaboja International for a few months. For I think I, I finished Kantab in November. Then, you know how like you're supposed to have VAC? So I didn't have VAC. My parents were like, nope, don't waste our time. So I went straight into school in December. So December, January, February, March, April, May, I was there. So I did that and then I went to Union School. I, I left the country. So my mom was working in Haiti. So I was in Union School, Haiti for A-level. Then I did my university in Uganda Christian University, UCU. I hesitated because of that. I, I wanted to say UCU in full. Yeah, so I graduated from UCU in 2016, in October 2016, yeah. So that is my education background. And that's where I am for now. I have not yet added. What was my first job? Whew. Well, I've done almost everything in this country. I have been an usher. I have been, I have done all kinds of businesses. I have been a secretary. I've been admin. I've been a bo I've just done it all. But I think my first real job after, you, after campus, I was working in a PR agency. I was there for about a year just before I decided to get into business. Um, but before that, I did I was an, a secretary for a certain company, but that was when I was still at university. So my first job after campus was that one at, at a PR agency. Which of my jobs am I most passionate about? Oof. I'm a very passionate person, so I am very passionate about almost everything that I do. But I love 
production anything production i love acting i love shooting i love editing i love coming up with content it's oh my gosh it's the one thing that i really really enjoy to do i've done a lot of jobs because they pay more but the one that i find most fulfilling is acting and shooting um, I don't know if you guys know that I'm also a photographer and yeah, I really love the camera. I love to be behind, I love to be in front. So those are the, 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 that's the one job that I really enjoy. How many siblings do you have? I have four siblings. I have three brothers and one sister and two nieces. <laughs> How old are you? Oh my goodness, that, that was one of the most popular questions. In the, I don't know what you guys want with my age. I don't know if you're trying to get me a man. I don't know. But anyway, I am 25. I just made 25 in May. Yeah, so I was born in 1995. There you have it. Doubters, you will crush. We shall crush you. <laughs> How was it like growing up as a last born? I wouldn't even consider myself a last born because I have a little brother, though I did not grow up with him. I grew up with my mom. But why I don't consider myself a last born is because my siblings are much older than me. Like the, the, the ones who are older than me are really much older than me. So I never really got a chance to grow up with them in the same house and play together and run around and fight. No, because by the time I was in primary, they were already in secondary. By the time I was in secondary, they were in university. By the time I was at university, they were moving out. So I really consider myself an only child because it was just me and my mom. And it was so nice. She spoiled me, she pampered me, she showed me all the love in the world. And yeah, we have a very good relationship because of that. So yeah, I was not a very crazy child. I was very calm. I did not play a lot. I think that's why I play now. <laughs> Um, as, as a very organized little girl, I don't remember being in, in a lot of trouble. Maybe, I, mm, no, I wasn't. I was very, very calm. What is the one thing people do not know about you? I think the one thing people don't know about me is that I am very shy. I'm very, not, I don't know if it's shy, but I'm not a very outgoing person. Like, I, when, when it, for example, when someone invites me for a party, I want to know who is there, what to wear, what they are wearing, how the place looks, how I'm going to fit it. Like, I overthink it. Well, the people who you'll invite, and they'll be like, okay, let's go, I'm ready. Um, so that's not me. I have struggled with even keeping eye contact with people. Like, if I meet you for the first time, I'm extremely shy. Actually, people who meet me, they're like, are you pretending? Are you the same girl we see on social media, on TV? No, it's just that I've gotten so comfortable with the camera. I remember my first time doing an acting gig and there were all these people on set. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it that the, the director kept asking, what's wrong with this girl? Like, I was so shy. I literally feel my heart, like, pumping out of my chest because people are watching me. Yeah, so, um, I think that's one thing people don't, people, everyone thinks I'm crazy, I'm loud, I'm fun. I'm, I might be fun, but it takes a lot, like, to get, used to someone i really have to it takes a while yeah another thing i i draw that's a hidden talent that my dad actually used to make us um, compete my brothers and i because every my family is very artistic so we used to compete like draw this draw this bottle draw this so i'm very very good um at like drawing um yeah i think the rest are really out there how do you maintain your body shape? This is another question that, <laughs> that is very famous. I don't know what shape you guys think I have, but thank you. I think I will. <laughs> thank you for the compliments. Um, to be honest, my, my body shape is really genetic. My whole family, my sister is like this, my mom is like this, like we have a small waist and hips to the end of the world. But of course, as you get older, it's very hard to maintain because you start eating some fried chicken and yeah, the weight comes. But um, every once in a while I go on diets, like I go vegan or I will literally just eat carrots and vegetables and fruits and that's it for a while. And then I will cheat, then come back. So my weight is actually something I've struggled with for most of my life. 
um, but that has helped me. I also work out. I run, I do sit-ups, I do planks, I really work out at home, I'm not a gym person. Uh, yeah, pretty much I avoid as much outside contact like with the world. Like, I would rather work out at home where I'm alone than go to the gym. Goes back to my shyness, yeah. So I think I'll do a video about how I maintain my body. How I, because most of us go through that back and forth, so for me, I think I would explain how I do mine so that you guys can understand. Um, but that would be another video because this video shouldn't be too long. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, uh, next question. What projects are you working on right now? I am shooting a film called The Blind Date. It's really, really nice by Lookout Films. Just stay tuned for that one. I'm also, before lockdown, I was shooting another TV series called Once Upon a Time. Um, it's, it's really, really amazing by um, Baby Plantain, that's the production house. So we only did a few episodes, so hopefully we shall do more. So that's what I'm working on right now, plus my YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Um, how did I get into fashion? I don't believe I'm into fashion, really. I think what I have is very good fashion designers who just dress me up and I take pics. <laughs> I, I cannot credit myself in any way because those dresses are not me. All I do is wear them. Who is my role model? My role model is, I don't have one specific role model, but I really admire people who think outside the box and do something that's so passionate. They are passionate about, like something that is so out, like so out of it, like people who push their, their dreams. Yeah. Those are my role models. Who is my favorite Ugandan musician? Oh my goodness, I love Ugandan music. First of all, there's even a question about what's my favorite kind of music. I love African music, more so Ugandan music. Like my phone, my top 100 songs out of 150 are Ugandan songs. Um, but my favorite, favorite, favorite that make me really jump, I love John Black. I love Shiba. Oh my goodness. Shiba is the queen, 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 Shiba. Yeah. Um, I really, really love Irene Tale and Bebe Cool. Yeah, those are my favorite artists. Speaking of artists, someone asked me, how many artists have you slept with? <laughs> I have not slept with any artists <laughs> yet. What inspires you to keep doing what you do? I think passion, you know when you wake up in the morning and you're just thinking this is the one thing that really makes me happy, that really keeps me going, that's what inspires me, like I need to get up and do this thing that I really love. I remember a time when I couldn't do, I couldn't, be, I couldn't do the things that I love to do and I was just so unhappy. And you see how I told you that I, I get anxiety, I get social anxiety, I get really shy. When I'm doing production, when I'm shooting photography or video or I'm acting, that's the time when, when I'm not shy at all. Like, I can do anything. I don't care who's looking at me. Like, I'm so confident because that's one thing that I know I'm good at and that I really, really love. So, that's what inspires me. Another very famous question. Are you single or? <laughs> I told you guys once that if you're not going to get me a man, don't ask me if I'm single. Don't waste my time. <laughs> anyway, I am very, very single. Very single. Very single. And and um, I'm ready to mingle, really. Really, really, really. Um, how can I reach you to market my products? I think that that's a question I get a lot. Many people say that they can't reach me, which is really sad because my email address is all over my social media. Like... I'm not very good with phone calls, but I'm very good with my email. So if you want to reach me, ah, marthakbiz at gmail.com, that's my email. I will respond within 24 hours for sure, for sure, for sure. And I'm not expensive, so call me. Uh -huh. um, how do you maintain a glowing skin? What's your skincare routine? Many people ask me this. I actually do not have a skincare routine. I'm not very touchy with with serums or all these products no um but i i just make sure i wash my face i drink a lot of water to keep to keep it moisturized um i eat healthy every once in a while but 
I also I exfoliate every week once a week I exfoliate I have a homemade scrub and I think I'll be doing a video on that to teach you guys how I do it because I don't put any any <sighs> I don't like products entering my skin because my skin breaks out like sometimes I'll put something and I just get an irritation and then I can't leave the house so yeah who is your ideal man you guys really want to marry me off huh? <laughs> my ideal man is any guy that I can connect with somebody that's really my friend somebody that I can laugh with and be myself with somebody who's not going to judge me and try to correct me every five minutes like you know that people you meet and every time why are you sitting like that why are you looking like that why are you wearing orange why are you wearing a jean why are you plating braids why are you why are you dark-skinned Jesus Christ can I breathe so I would really want a guy that understands me and is my friend because that's that's the I feel like that's the base of a good relationship that's the foundation of a good relationship and someone who makes me laugh because I love to laugh oh my god I'm laughing like 90% of my life if you can't make me laugh that door is there please yeah so that's my ideal man if you want to know more you know my email <laughs> um how do I join the film industry? The film industry in Uganda is, is really young, so there's not much to do. But I would suggest getting friends that are actors because those circles are so, are so well, they're so tight, they're so well, I don't know, well put together. They're groups and everything, so they keep on posting um, audition casting calls and, and all these things and so that would help you because if you go for a casting call then you never know you may get a role how i got into the industry first of all of course i post i used to post uh, my comedy on on social media all the time so everybody knew that i could act so um my first gig actually i was connected by eddie kenzo Musuza. oh shout out to you my brother he really helped me. He connected me to somebody who was actually starting a, a TV series in like two months. So he connected me to the guy. I remember we met somewhere in uh, Buziga and the guy told me to come for an audition. And just like that. And you know when you get one role, you get the second role, you get the next role, you get the next role. And the last, before you know it, you're in six movies. So yeah, friends and also if you can post a lot of work on social media, people will see you. Mm -hmm. How do you keep up with celebrity life versus personal life? I don't believe that it's the same. It's like asking you, how do you deal with banking, your banking job and your personal life where you're dating, Kenneth? You just separate, like after work, you go home. After home, you go to work. So I don't believe that there's a correlation between that. Um, because what you see on social media is not who I am. I will only choose what I show you. I will only choose that I'm going to show you guys this side of me. But the people who know me know that, okay, no, this is not her or this is her. You understand? So I don't believe that they are the same thing. I believe you can choose. Most people, sh I mean, even Will Smith and Jada, do not, they don't show us what happens in their daily life. Whether they quarreled before they did that video, we'll never know but that's a job, right? So I, 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 don't, I don't have a problem with blending the two. My only problem, which I, someone actually asked, what's my biggest regret about being in the limelight? I don't regret much, but my only, I think, issue is when people meet you, when people misjudge you, when people think that they know you based off what they hear or what they see on social media. That's really, I don't like that because get to know someone before you judge them. So that's the only problem because someone will say, ah, that one I, I follow her, I know her. You don't know me, you just see someone and you assume that you know them. So that's the only regret I would have. Um, am I married? Obviously not because I'm single. Although someone asked later on if I, if I have plans to get married, definitely, oh my God, I wanted to get married at 21. Yeah. But God had other plans. <laughs> I want to get married. Definitely, I want to get married. I want to have children. Ah, God, don't ashamed me. Or next, um, how, how? Someone asked, how do I get famous? 
why do you want to get famous <laughs> anyway um i i believe that people that are famous people that are celebrities people that are popular are popular because they are unique at something they because if you're going to say i'm going to just walk on the street in shoes you're not going to be famous because you're doing what everyone else is doing so i think the best way to be famous is to do something that is unique to only you and then you're recognized for that because they're like, they're like mm, have you seen that girl katie she's so good at this or there's the random things like you can even just wear red shoes all the time and you get famous for that so just be unique be your best self get focus on your strengths build your strengths and just like that you get famous for that what's my biggest regret in life I, I move on very fast. Actually, my mom keeps telling me my biggest, my biggest weakness is that I just move on so quickly. So I don't really, reg I don't sit there and I'm like, I shouldn't have, no, it's so rare for me to regret. But I think the one thing that I really sometimes regret is some people. There are some people you meet and you're like, God, why? <laughs> like, why didn't you show me? Usually God shows us, but we don't listen. Mm-hmm.